Hey, what's up, guys? Snowy Minotaur here, and yes, Fortnite Nightmares 2024 has finally arrived, and all I can say is finally. This event had a lot riding on it, ever since we were first hearing about the leaks surrounding it earlier last month. Like, the Fortnite community was generally worried that this event could have been an absolute disaster, and if it was to be that, players would have been absolutely done with seasonal events of Fortnite, considering that the past couple of years that we've been getting these seasonal events, it seems like Epic has been putting less and less into them and they've been poorly received by the player base. Now, I'm grateful that we do get content during these times, so I can't deny that fact because, I mean, come on. We still get content and it's still great that we still see content, but I have been very vocal about the past couple years of seasonal events, especially with last year's Winterfest and Summer event, which were just downright terrible. With all that being said, I am very glad to report that Fortnite Nightmares 2024 is actually amazing. I know it sounds like I'm jumping to conclusions with me saying this here within this video, but after two years of misses with seasonal events in Fortnite, I'm glad that Epic and we as a community got a win. The content that we have gotten from this event was just absolutely crazy and the cosmetics, well, they're insane, and I wanted to talk about that here within this video. Like, we got three POI changes on the entire map. There's a bunch of different, like, little areas on the map as well, but one of the places that we did get... <sighs> This is just a weird name. It's called Freaky Fields. Can't wait to see what the community does over there throughout this entire month. Um, I, I, don't, know, I don't know what to say. I prefer really not to, um, not to speak. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. We also had two new items added into this event. Like, for example, the very overpowered but super fun chainsaw item and also a Billy homing weapon that targets enemies and actually explodes on them. Try doing that at Freaky Field. We also got a mini jigsaw game in Fortnite where you're wearing a mask that has an explosive on it and you have to eliminate another player who pretty much accepts this game here. And if you don't kill them, well, you're, you're, you're dead. Like, like, that's absolutely crazy. And obviously we had some returning weapons and items as well, like the pumpkin launcher and the wood stake shotgun. Like this update was packed down with content. Like I am very much impressed with what they did here. When it comes to the content, the map actually feels like it changed. It actually feels like it is all Halloweenified it actually feels like fort nightmares and that's a great thing to say what about the cosmetics this year well i don't want to sound like i'm saying brain rot to you all here but honestly people they cooked let's start off with the free stuff as this year's cosmetics are pretty cool i will say that most of them are reskins like the pickaxe and glider for an example but it's not to say that they're bad because i do think that the pickaxe actually looks really good and really nice and the glider is pretty clean plus i wouldn't really be complaining about this guys because at the end of the day these are free it's better than paying for the original versions in the item shop because i mean come on would you rather pay full price for the original scarecrow glider or would you rather grind find out some challenges or more or less XP this season to get this new one for absolutely free. Oh, and we also got like a new emote called Cauldron Chill, which is actually one of the best original Fortnite Halloween emotes we've gotten in years like it's actually really cool now there really wasn't a lot to really talk about with these rewards here because at the end of the day they're free there are some pretty cool ones out of here like a back bling i know there's a jam track out of here it's not really the main focus of fort nightmares obviously with the gameplay itself and the item shop cosmetics which i might as well start talking about the item shop cosmetics because they are absolutely insane this year you all thought that last year's cosmetics were insane with us getting michael myers and jack skellington from the nightmare before christmas this year said, hold my beer. We just had the wave two for the Nightmare Before Christmas drop with Sally and the Pumpkin King skins with their cosmetics, which are really cool in my opinion. Plus last night while I'm recording this video, we just had Mephisto dropped, which was just crazy. Some of the collaborations that we're gonna be getting throughout this event are like Edward Scissorhands, like nobody saw that coming. Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre and two new Venom skins. Like that's absolutely crazy that we're getting these collaborations throughout this event. And that's just some of them. Like I, I couldn't even believe it. Like who could have guessed that we'd be getting an Edward Scissorhand skin in Fortnite because that was just a massive surprise as I just said like holy plus with the two new Venom skins I would really want to see them bring back Eddie Brock because if they don't bring him back that's a huge missed opportunity and that would just feel very weird considering that the new skins are actually part of the same set as the Eddie Brock skins so I mean that would just make the most sense to bring him back 
when these two drop and guys there are so many new halloween skins this year it's absolutely crazy like new original halloween skins most of them are reskins but i will say there are some great ones out of here like the new lexus skin that's probably the most hyped up halloween skin other than obviously the collaborations because i'm seeing a lot of people really excited for this new lexus skin like i really do think that we are set for the rest of this month this four nightmares honestly turned out to be better than any of us expected it to be because as I've said at the beginning of this video, we had two years of basically just full of underwhelming seasonal events, and we needed something like Fortnite Nightmares 2024 to happen, and I'm so glad that it did. But I wanted to put this into your minds here, and I really wanted to ask you all this question here, because do you all think this could have been a possibility here? And that is, what if Fortnite Nightmares 2024 wasn't as good as it was? Because I think that we'd be seeing a completely different reaction from the community if that was to happen, if that did happen. Because I can honestly see a massive amount of backlash from the player base if this event wasn't not good, wasn't not good, but honestly great. If it wasn't a great event, we'd be seeing a ton of people absolutely mad over over this event and again i'm so happy that the leaks turned out to be true surrounding this event and hopefully this is a sign that epic actually takes time and actually makes seasonal events good because it seems like what they did with fort nightmares this year was just really awesome let's hope that Werner fest can improve because i think that one thing needs to be improved this year it has to be Werner fest and i hope that epic take seasonal events into a good direction because i think fort nightmares 2024 might have just saved seasonal events but ladies and gentlemen that's it for today's video i really hope you all enjoyed if you did happen to enjoy this video consider subscribing to the channel don't forget to check out my twitter akmx account also don't forget to use my support credit code within the fortnite item shop that is minnow5 that's mino5 hashtag ad thank you all so much for watching i love every single one of you remember everyone it's always good to take chances